China discovers strange glass beads on the moon that may contain billions of tons of water. Scientists detected water trapped inside glass spherules on the moon after analyzing soil, soil samples brought back by China's Chang 5 mission. And they're perfectly round, as you can see. Spherules from 800,000 year old meteor impact found on the trans Antarctic mountains. Similar beads on the moon may contain billions of tons of buried water, new research suggests. The Chinese researchers may have discovered billions of tons of water inside strange glass spheres buried on the moon, and they could be used as a future water source for a moon bases, a new study says. The tiny glass spherules collected in the lunar soil samples and brought to Earth by Chang, China's Chang 5 mission in December 2020 could be so abundant that they store up to 330 billion tons, that's 300 billion metric tons of water, across the moon's surface, the new analysis says. And this was published March 28th in the journal Natural Geoscience. The glass spherule is also known as impact glasses or microtectites form when meteorites smash into the moon at tens to hundreds of thousands of miles per hour, blasting chunks of lunar crust above the moon's surface, and inside these plumes, silicate minerals heated to molten temperatures by force of the impact combine to form tiny glass beads that are sprinkled like crumbs all over the surrounding landscape of the moon. The moon soil contains oxygen, which means that the beads do as well. And when struck with ionized hydrogen, atoms and protons from the solar wind, the oxygen in the molten spheres reacts to form water that is sucked inside the silicate capsules. And over time, some of the spheres become buried beneath the lunar dust particles, known as regolith, and are trapped underground with the water still inside. At the right temperature, some of these beads release the water into the moon's atmosphere and onto its surface, acting as a reservoir that is slowly refilled over time, the researcher said, and this could make these spheres an ideal source of water, as well as hydrogen and oxygen for space agencies like NASA and China's National Space Administration, CNSA. The CNSA expects its moon base project to be completed as soon as 2029. If we want to extract the water and impact glass beads for future lunar exploration, first we collect them, then boil them in an oven and cool the released water vapor. vapor. Finally, you'll get some liquid water in a bottle, study co-author Sen Hu says, a planetary geologist at the Chinese Academy of Sciences, Institute of Geology and Geophysics. He told Life Science in an email, another benefit is that impact glass beads are common in lunar soils, from equator to polar, and from east to west globally and, yeah, and evenly. Chang 5 Vision, China's mission, named for the Chinese goddess of the moon, was the fifth in a series of missions that aimed to lay the groundwork for the future human landings on the moon surface. The mission landed on the moon to scoop up material from its surface before returning to the Earth in December 2020. This is by Ben Turner on Live Science. Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support. Kindly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box.